Hello, everybody. I'm a Arts Work Anthony. Welcome to the Arts Work Mechanical Union course. Today we will be begin the from chapter one to chapter twenty-four. Okay. Uh, chapter one, treat the science. Trade science include your middle school or senior middle school knowledge. For example, here is the chapter atoms and uh, molecule. We were talking about the compounds and the mixture, physical state of a matter. Molecules attraction in matter. Mass, weight, value, and density. Next, you know, in the natural world, we have a solid, liquid, and gas. For example, here is the we have a review the properties of solid. Okay, we we concern on the mechanical properties of solid, physical properties of solid. Chemical properties of solid. Next, uh, we'll be uh, talk, talking about the properties of liquid, cohesive and adhesive force. Okay, and uh, volatility. Volatility. Volatility here and uh, viscosity. Viscosity. Next, properties of the gas. Okay, internal thermal, internal thermal energy. I'm talking about the temperature, temperature and the heat. Marrying temperature, heat unit. You know, we will be talking about the heat unit. We mentioned before, there are two systems in our engineering. Uh, yeah, engineering. One is a metric system, the other is a imperial system. Okay, thermal expansion. Okay, heater transfer. How to heat transfer in the for the uh, uh, in the steel in the cast iron and some uh, another matter. Force and motion. We we will review the Newton's law of motion, Newton's uh, uh, first law, Newton's second law, Newton's third law, linear motion, expansion, come back, expansion come back, and the different temperature, rotations motion, and uh, energy, energy work and the power. Okay. A uh, simple the machine, or how to level in, how to incline plants, hydraulic press, compound the machine. Okay. Last we were talking electrical and electromagnetic magnetic magnetism. Okay. Uh, talking about this. Talking about this uh, uh, chapter, we only review something. Okay, we don't have much time to step by step and describe the describe the uh, detail the knowledge about you. you here, but here this chapter is very important. Oh, okay, I'll show you the mechanical mill right trader is based on the apply scientific principles. These principles are constantly applied by the mere rights, often without, without realize it. Sometimes the mere right needs to think of the problem through using three these, these principles or to calculate a dimensions, a load, or some of these important principles. Uh, autumn and uh, molecules. All matters 
is composed of the all terms. So all terms are single unit of special substance called the elements. 118 elements currently on the predictable in the universe are hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, copper, leather, silver, and gold. You can see internet, you can research internet uh, and uh, uh, review some knowledge. The arrangement and the structure of the molecules in a substance are unique. First, I'll tell you compounds and the mixture. What is compounds? Compounds, in my opinion, I think here is a chemical material. That means a compound is the product of the more than two atoms that unite chemically. Mixture, in my opinion, I think uh, belong to the should be a physics material. We can talk, okay? We can talk everything, okay? Two or more elements or compounds may combine so that the molecules in the resulting material retain their original properties. For example, alloys. Alloys are a mixture of the metal with other metals or non-metals. Physical states of matter. Physical state of matter. Matter is existed in three physical states. For example, gas, liquids, and the solid. Molecules, attraction in matter. The physical state of the substance is determined by the space and the motion of the individual molecules. Molecules. Cohesive force. Cohesive force is called by the molecules in solid that are strongly attracted to one another. To one another. Liquids are also composed of a tightly packed molecules, but the cohesive force is not as great as that found in solids. Gas molecules exhibited little cohesion. Adhesive force. Adhesive force that are not alike often share a force of attraction similar to cohesion. Mass, weight, value, density, and density. Matter has several physical properties, including mass, value, and density that are different from mechanical properties. Very important concern on the different from the mechanical properties. What is mass you can call? What is weight? Mass is the measurement of the quantity of the material in the body. In the body. Mass, mass. In the body. Weight is called by the force of gravity on Earth. If the mass in the Earth, so that weight is called by the force of gravity on Earth. The Earth's gravity, the accelerate is 9.8 meters seconds times second. But on the moon, on the another plant, weight is different. Why? Because different means accelerator gravity is different. Ah, different. Okay. Remember, ah, some of the call it 
what is mass if you write the definitions what is weight the according weight is called by the force of gravity on earth that means uh, weight is a uh, mass times uh, accelerate according different plant for example in the earth in earth weight somebody the weight is a mass times 9.9 .9 meters okay meters second times second times second in the in the metric system the unit of force is called the newton we use n okay uh, n in every in everyday life weights are often expressed ex not exactly that means uh, if you should if you describe some uh, somebody's weight is not exactly that is here incorrectly in grams or kilos kilograms rather than newton so we often use the we o we dif we often describe the unit of force is called the newton okay here is the iso what is iso international standard organization give your give your code uh, ISO, ISO, okay. The imperial system use the unit of pro, pounds, pounds force. We often use here. You can see in the black LBS or kilogram kg. We often use here. Here is rather than Newton, okay. Weight are often expressed. If you're talking about the weight, you use uh, grams, kilograms. Oh, it, we're often talking about uh, the force. Okay, we're talking about the Newton in the mass. In the mass. The imperial system uses the unit, pounds, to express force. Okay, remember, ah, imperial system. Imperial system, just now I, I, I mentioned there are two systems in our engineering uh industry engineering one is a metric system the other is a imperial system because force include weight in the u.s the unit pounds is often used to express weight although this is inaccurate in my opinion not clear Volume. Volume is the measurement of the amount of space an object occupies. Volume equals to the length times width times heat. Volume of a cylindrical object such as a, such as an oil tank. You multi, you multiply, you multiply, you multiply the area of the end time the heat volume volume equal to the area of an end time the heat volume okay we often use the v volume okay well, sorry here is i'm not uh, important correctly here is a I hear here the volume equal to pi, pi times to r times r times h. H means heat. H. Note that the pi here is standard for the number for three. Here is a one four one five nine. He never ever circle back. We often round it off to the in our, if you write the examination, write your, your, your mail writing examination, you give your questions, we often use, uh, you, use your formula, use uh, 3.142. It's okay. You can choose the ABCD, which one is correct. Okay. Often, often round it off. <clears throat> round it up. 
rounded off, remember. In the inferior unit, include cubic inch, cubic feet, and the imperial and the U.S. gallon. Okay. One imperial gallon equal to the two two hundred seventy seven cubic inch. One U.S. gallon in. it is here. One imperial gallon in U.S. gallon two hundred thirty one cubic inch density. Density here is uh, equal to the mass. Diverse V, V here is the value. Oh, here is not good. Uh, okay, I need it. Sorry, okay, value. In the formula, M means mass. V in a given value. Okay, next. Property of solid. Solid maintain their own shape without, without, a container without a container without container yeah mechanical property of a solid these are the chair rotor restricts of the solid that are displayed when a force is applied to it you can hear solid first Ultimate strength. Strength is the ability to read and stand gradually applied force without without let me see here without rupture here, yeah, correct. Yeah, without corruption. Strength is the ability to grad Corruption. Uh, Rupturing. Uh, corruption. Corruption means a crack. And uh, this force, this force includes uh, normally three tensile, compressive, tensile. tensile, compressive, or shear. Shear. For, or shear. Okay. We will discuss them later. Stress and strain. You should know stress thing. Stress and strain. Stress is called force diverse area. Area and uh, force diverse area. Strain, remember, huh? often ask you if you write the examination, write your, uh, your certificate examination. Stress is called force diverse area. Remember. Okay, I, I give you here. Yeah, stress, stress. I mentioned here. Stress. Strain. Remember, strain means here. Extension, extension. That was the uh, original ones. Strain, stress, and uh, stress. Strain. Second, tensile of stress. Tensile of stress. Oh. Uh, Tensile stress is the ability of a material to resist being pulled apart by external force. External force, like external force. Here is a very important that you should know the UTS. Okay, what UTS? UTS abbreviation means the UTS. The ultimate ultimate tensile stress remember here ah uh, yeah very important who could be asking you what is uts uts remember oh abbreviation here is the the ultimate tensile stress next physical property of a solid a physical property of a solid Physical property of solid. Let me here. Physical property of solid.
physical UTS UTS physical difficulty. Okay, here is the physical. Physical. See here, I didn't see property of a solid, mechanical property of a solid, or to here, yeah. Stress and strain, yeah, just not here. Stress, remember, is defined as a force per unit area acting on object to change its uh, dimensions. The stress, that means can change the dimensions. Dimension, uh, dimension, dimensions, the dimensions, dimensions, dimensions. The metric unit. Use the it is the we always use the Pascal. Remember here Pascal. Uh, one Pascal means uh, one Newton. Area meter. Uh, area. The, M2. Uh, M2. Yeah, M2. Uh, area. Area meter. Uh, the the imperial unit is pound force per square inch. We often call it pound. Inch. Pound. Pound. Here L B. Here is L B. Uh, here is F. F means force. Here means uh, describe a force. If, uh, if you describe the weight, only use the LB is okay. If you describe the imperial unit to pound force, to pound force, you should be a uh, LBF. Okay? LBF. LBF area inch. Square inch. Square in inch. Or area inch. Doesn't matter. Square inch. We often use the inch here we often read the square inch that is stress stress is the force diverse area stress okay remember here uh, i'm talking about one okay inch p ps ps you should you should remember i uh, take your your ball pen or something you can read it by yourself okay psi psi here is the uh, Inch LB, LBF. Okay, talking about. Note, uh, is here you can read, read, read. Uh, yeah, this formula you should remember. Ah, uh, here. Note it. Note that stress and the pressure use the same unit, but the abbreviation, abbreviation. Remember LBF again. Repeat me. And here is very important. Okay, oh, okay, uh, inch LBF square inch is used for stress on solid and the PSI. Remember what is PSI pound per square inch, pound square per square inch is used for the unit of a fluid pressure. We often use a, okay, for example, your vehicle, your vehicle tires use the. Uh, front tire, uh, front tires and the rear tires use uh, how many pressure? We use the uh, we use uh, what? We use the uh, psi, psi. Okay, psi is used for the unit of fluid pressure. Uh, psi, psi often use this psi. Psi use fluid. Remember, uh, PSI is fluid, LBF pounds force square, square, square yeah. inch use the stress a solid. That means here stress a solid belong to the use the solid. It's not a, not gas, uh, not gas. There are three state solid. Liquid and gas. Talking about uh, talking about uh, liquid and gas. Liquid and gas belong to the fluid pressure. Belong to the fluid pressure. So if you use the fluid pressure, gas, liquid, you should you you must be use the PSI to describe. Okay. Strain 
is the ratio of the extension per unit loss when a force is applied. Because it is a ratio, it has no unit. No, no units. Okay, you can try. Why do this? The same unit, diverse, the same unit. So it means no units. No unit. String extension. Okay, how long? How the unit inch. And the diverse originally is, is, is inch. In, imperial system. So inch, diverse inch. That means it has no units, okay? It has no units. Remember, ah, it's talking about, if I ask you questions, string have units or units, A, units, B, no units, C, both of them, D could be ask you all about, often give you the, here is the feeling question, all about, you see the only chance that here is the string, is the ratio of the station per unit length when a force is applied. Because extension, for example, use the inch. Original length use the inch. The inch, diverse inch. That is, it has no unit. Be careful, okay? Tensile stress. Tensile stress is a ability of the material to resist being pulled apart by the exter external force. For example, wire rope used to lift a load must have a sufficient tensile strength for it not to break and the load. Not break, you push, push something, push the, you can, you can pull, you can pull, you can pull, for example, for the nuts, long nuts, pull, and, and this load, no, uh, pull, okay. The automator tension, the automator must be, can here, it's like the word, mark here, you can write down, write down. Automator tensile stress means the UTS, just now I mentioned, very, very important. Why? Because if you pull, you pull the steel road, pull steel load. If, if you pull the force, if the force more than automator tension stress, or more than automator tension between, or equal to the UTS of a material. That means this, material. this force is a maximum amount of the stress. That means the UTS is the maximum amount of stress. That means the material can vi cannot withstand before, uh, uh, after, after date, or equals it, broken. Before the before UTS, the material could be not uh, broken, but after more than this UTS, there will be broken. So we we define the ultra material law, tensile stress, UTS. Remember, very important. It's here is a very important uh, uh, concept. Yeah, yeah. Now, compression stress, talking about the tensile stress, his pull, compressive stress means, uh, means what? Compression, P compression, because the uh, pull, here, first is the pull, here is a push, push, push to to end of here. Yeah, here, you remember, you can count. Oh, yeah. This is a UTS, is pull. Here is a compression. We see the UC, UCS. UCS, yeah, UCS. UCS, UCS. UTS, UCS. C, here means a comprehensive one. First letter, capital letter. Here is T. T means tensile. First letter, tensile. UTS, easy to remember. If you choose the correct answer, which yes. is the tensile stress? UTS, U, UCS, 
Do not forget. Second, second letter, second capital letter means uh, ten, ten seal letters. Second C means uh, compressing. C capital. Okay. S means uh, stress. Okay. The same thing. For example, shear, shear stress, shear, shear stress, shear stress. Here is a okay. For example, last time I mentioned if shear you strength. if you one is a rod, you use a knife cut, give you a cut. This cut force means the shear stress. Shear stress is the ability to resist the force by trying to slide the part of the object along here. Try to slide part of the object of the object along itself. For example, re reverse of the booth holding the two pieces of the material together must have the adequate shear stress to prevent them from slide over one another. Okay? Okay. Here. The same thing. U, automate. S means shear. Shear. S. Shear. S. Third means stress. The same thing. Uh, U, T, S. Oh, to stress. Sum, to sum up, U, C, U, T, S. U, C, S. U, S, S. Everybody should be remember. Okay, don't forget. Okay, easy. Uh, I think easy, easy to, to remember. Okay, uh, UTS, UTS, uh, UTS. Uh, to sum up, okay, go back. UTS means automator. UTS. U automator. T TCO, stress. UCS, automate. UCS. Com Complexive, stress. Share stress, USS, U. USS. Or oh, ultimate. 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 Share stress. Oh, okay. Next here is uh, the uh, fatigue. Okay. Fatigue stress. Fatigue stress. Fatigue. Fatigue. Uh, fatigue stress. Fatigue stress. Uh, industrial engineering is very important. Because a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, steel material, uh, steel material, uh, cast uh, iron material, or something, or oh, fatigue stress is the ability to withstand repeatedly uh, auto automating stress, automating yeah, uh, uh, fatigue, fatigue, uh, <coughs> fatigue, fatigue. Yeah, we should know, we should know here. Next here is a elastic, elasticity, elast, elasticity, 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 elasticity is the ability of a material to return to its original dimensions or dimensions. Sometimes you call dimensions after it has been. Act on by a force, okay. All co all solid have some elasticity. Elasticity. Remember elasticity, okay. Remember elasticity. Sometimes you can call here the such a spring, such have nine name, spring force. Supreme force, okay? You should pull back, pull longer. If you take off, you can lose. Go back to the original, go back to the original dimensions, okay? Return to his original dimension, we call elasticity. We can see elasticity. 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 Okay. Uh, talking about the elasticity, 
here is a here is a limited. The limited we have another name called yield. Yield stress. Okay. Yield. Yield strength. Yes, yes. Yes means here is a after elasticity limited. And that means the somebody cannot if you lose the pool cannot go back to the original city. So here, here limited. Elastic uh Elastic, elastic, less limited. Okay, the, the the maximum force that the solid can withstand without being permanent. Permanently formed is called the material elastic, limited or yield stress. That means it has uh, two names. You can call here is the elastic limited. You can call another name yield stress. If you write your new writing examinations, it will ask you what is, what is the elastic limited? The, uh, is, is it, does it has another name? You should remember yield stress. Okay. Table one is shows the metric value of yield stress. Metric, metric, metric system. Here is the metric volume of here, and the volume uh, stress for the several material. You can see here is the top one, one m pop equal to the one thousand. Here, take this part. Here is the, you can remember this. Okay, remember here. Okay. Here is the elasticity limited and the ultimate stress. Ultimate stress. Here is the give you ultimate strength. Ultimate strength. Here can come. Okay, here yield stress. UTS. What is UTS? I give you homework. UTS means ultimate tensile stress. Let me to remember. UTS. Let me just to recall. UTS. What is the UCS? UCS means uh, automated, comprehensive, comprehensive stress. UCS. What is the USS? What is USS? Automated. Shear. Automated shear. Stress. Okay, one, two, three. Remember. These are three abbreviations. A lot of abbreviations in the industrial engineering. If you write an examination, you can you write your red cell examination questions? You should remember UTS, okay? All, uh, ultra, ultra T, tensor street, ultra, uh, ultra T, uh, comp comprehensive stress, USS, ultra T, shear stress, it can be here. Can see, for example, for the yield stress, we can hear. Steel is bigger. Cast iron, no, why? Because cast iron here is very hard. So that means very easy to break in. So no. Aluminum is softer, softer material. And here, yield, okay. Okay. That means strain and stress. 400. More strain and stress. That means steel, Mild steel here has a heat. Okay, softer layer here. Uh, concrete, concrete sometimes the same as uh, uh, cast iron concrete. Very hard, but uh, but uh, no no yield stress. And that means uh, it very hard. If you you can you cannot stand the yield stress. Okay, very hard. Uh, here is UT, U, 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 UTS UTS. Out of out of the here. Uh, stress. Remember. Next up, we should give here. Plasticity. 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 What is plasticity? Plasticity is ability. 
for material to remain retain a shape permanently after deforming force is removed. Press it. Oh, okay. Okay, that means uh, if you give uh, some material, you can give you more than more than for example more than give you pull this material more than yield stress. That means uh, that means that this uh, material cannot go back to the original shape. Cannot go back go back to the ori original original shape. That means uh, this is a uh, plasticity. 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 Plasticity is the ability for material to retain a shape permanently after a deformed force. Deformed force is removed. Deformed force. So big force, more than here is a UTS. That this material no, cannot go back to the original dimensions. So we call the, we call the plasticity. plasticity. Okay. Next, uh, here is the ductility. 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 Ductility is the ability to stress and uh, maintain the new shape. Ductility. Oh, ductility. Uh, maintain the new shape. Okay. Ductility. <clears throat> okay. For example, alumni. Alumni ductility. Uh, new name. Uh, ductility. For alumni, here is a stress committing here new ship. If you big big force, big force, alumni is softer material uh, softer material can can keep the meeting the new piece we call here alumni ductility. 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 Okay? Ductility. Next here is a malleable ability. Malleable ability. Malleability. What is malleability? Malleability is the ability of the material to be permanently deformed by compression. Compression force. Until here. For example, you use a ham, you use a ham, ham the steel. For example, you have the, the steel piper. Steel piper. Okay, ham, ham. Came back here. This is a malleability. Malleability is the ability of a material to be permanently deformed by compression force. This compression force, for example, give you a hammer. Hammer give a compression force. This material cannot permanently deformed. Okay, not go, not go back to the original dimensions. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Brittle, brittle, brittle hers, brittle her, brittle nurse, brittle nurse, brittle nurse material, brittle material breaks, breaks without no, no, noticeable plastic deformations, plastic deformations. Ah, oh, here, here, that means that very easy broken. Ah. Oh. For example, concrete. Compare concrete and steel. Concrete, brittle, brittle nurse. Concrete, brittle nurse. Easy, that's steel. Uh, brick, brick material, the brittle concrete breaks up without notice about the plastic deformations. Okay. 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 If you hear, you don't hear. We why here is often use black, uh, black word. That means a very important concept. Uh, for me, right? I hear is only for me, right? <clears throat> toughness. Oh, toughness is the ability of a material to withstand shock load, loads, shock loads. Toughness. Oh, toughness. Mm. Okay, toughness is ability 
of the material to withstand a shock load. So what is a shock load? Shock load means the force means the two, two body hit together. The time, the time is so very very short, very very short, very very short, very very short. At the very very short time, very very short time here is a short loose. Okay, sometimes short loose is a is destroy, uh, destroy somebody. Okay, short loose. For example, aircraft. If a aircraft landed, landed ground. A uh, time this. If a aircraft, aircraft from sky landed the ground, we call he put he contacted the ground very 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 short time, very very short time because here is a loader we call the shock load. We call the shock load, shock load, shock load. Okay, shock load. Okay, you can see shock load. Shock, shock very very short time. Next. Uh, hardness. Hardness. Hardness is a material ability to resist the force that is trying force. to penetrate. Treat it. Uh, hardness. Hardness. Uh, here is the time to push the molecules. Molecules part. Uh, hardness. Hardness. Hardness have a uh, a lot of uh, uh, example in the labels in labor you can see uh, okay you see here is a <coughs> here is a four very important here is bring me yeah here, here, here. okay here you can have this can you hear next up uh, physical property of solid okay physical uh, properties of solid i think you that uh, you we only review it okay the physical properties of the solid are channel actor resistance of their interaction with the various form of energy oh, okay. energy uh, for, example, yeah. for example color is a physical property that depends on the interaction of the material with the light energy okay compare oh sorry see you can see first here mm. okay <clears throat> uh, next here is the uh, uh, you can see electrical conductive okay Electric conductive, I should mention here only. Uh, electrical conductive is the ability of the material to conduct the electrical current, the copper, copper line, copper line, copper line. For example, aluminum line here is the electrical conduction. Uh, metals that have the uh, very high electric electrical conductive include good silver. Copper, aluminum, and steel. Aluminum and steel. A copper we often use that in the normally industrial engineering is copper and aluminum. Okay, okay. Most most we use here. The copper and aluminum are the material most commonly used in the electric electrical wire wires. But talking about the gold wire, silver wire. Another used for the aircraft, okay, aircraft, for the tank, for the, right now, <laughs> a lot of military, a lot of military uh, weapon is expensive because they use a lot of uh, expensive metal, for example, good silver, because here, because good silver electric conductive is better than Copper, aluminum, and steel. Okay? Okay. Remember, next, every time I give your lectures, remember very 
Very important here means that you should be alert, caution. A lot of mirror right examination, if you write, just I ask like here is very, very important. This, uh, uh, it's here. For example, caution. Here, caution. Black and slide word is very important concept. Caution. But be careful when you use the conductive material that around the electric power source. If you can see, if you accidentally touch a power line with the metal, such as the scoffling, scoffling, the shot can be fatal. Fatal. Uh, can be fatal. Can be fatal. So remember, very important here. Often ask you, okay? Here is, I think it should be belong to the should be should belong to the what should be the safety should be inter, industrial safety. We will be your next chapter. We will be talking about here. Okay, uh, uh, some things here is very important. Uh, uh, here you can you can read it by itself. Thermal conductive. Ah, uh, thermal conductive. Thermal conductive uh, determines the rate of the heat flow through the material. Okay. Material here. Material. This is, here is the material. Material. Use the, use the iron, steel, <coughs> not wood. Wood is is the uh, uh, heat flow. <laughs> uh, almost uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no flow. Okay, okay. The difference uh, in the thermal conductive between the iron and the copper. We often uh, talking about the engineering material. Copper. Okay. Uh, I and the copper is uh, demonstrated in the figure here. You see, you see, you can give your figure, ah, uh, figure, a uh, figure, figure one, thermal conductive. Okay, can you see which one conductive speed quickly? I think the copper. I slow. Come on, the copper bar conduct the heat at a much higher rate than the I. Here you can see one, two, three. That means the same heat source. At the same heat source, hit the bar, hit the bar, he, left is the copper, right is the iron. That means uh, <clears throat> that means uh, the copper bar conducts the heat the, at the much higher, much higher rate. Okay, much higher. Com compare with, with uh, compare iron. 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 Is light the much first. Here is the conduct fast. Uh, con uh, here is a high rate. Here is a uh, compare each other. Copper and I. Here is lower. Easy. If you ask this question, is uh, A, B, C, D. You can choose the, which one conducts the heat at the much higher rate than an I. Here it give you a copper, aluminum, gold, or silver. You can know, you should know, you should know everything. Okay? Okay. Thermal uh, conductive has uh, important industry implications. Okay, very imp important. Uh, very important. Okay? Very important. Thermal uh, conductive has industry come here. Here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. For example, when cutting a beer, bearing rest of the shelter, the mill right must be aware of thermal conductive. Nearby parts may be overheated. For example, you, you heading the cell, you 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 welding the cell, you welding the aluminum, you welding the steel. You should be must be aware. Thermal conductive, okay. Again, yeah. possibly destroying some of their uh, desirable property, according here. Uh, okay. Next, uh, here is very important. Here is normally knowledge expansion and uh, contractive, uh, contract contraction, expansion contraction. and the contraction. Uh, expansion and the contraction. 
expansion and the contraction is changing the dimensions of the material as a result of the change the dimension. uh, dimensions of the in the temperature. Oh. Uh, is it here? Temperature. See, we should know this is chemical. Oh, uh, complicated. Ah, oh. this function and the contraction changes the dimension of minerals as a result of the change in temperature. For example, if you temperature, if you use a wedding, wedding the steel, a wedding the steel paper. Okay, it should be your wedding. The steel paper will be expansion. Okay, you can get. If you after wedding, the steel paper will go back to the go back to the original shape. See here is a, that means go back. These are contractions, the contractions. Okay. Uh, next, next chemical property of the solid. Okay, just not be the chemical. What is chemical? Let me recall. You see it here. We 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 should be record record chemical. We should be compounds and the mixture. Okay, compounds. We often see that here is a, a chemical compounds. Com com compounds should be a chemical because here after chemical reactions, compounds. Ah, uh, compounds. Ah, uh, compounds. Ah, uh, a mixture. Compounds. Compounds is the product of two or more octam that unite chemically. We are compounds. The chemical property means the compounds property of solid. Okay. Another mixture. Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, two or more elements or compounds may combine. Could combine so that the molecules, uh, molecule, molecules in the resulting the material retain their original property. Okay. Okay. This is the chemical compounds of solid here. Uh, chemical property of solid uh, here is uh, related to the interactions. Of the particular elements and the compounds in the material and the environment. That means I give you here. You should remember chemical property of compounds. He, we 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 got the chemical property for what? Chemical reaction. Here, chemical properties of a solid are a chair actor statistics that related to the inter interactions interaction of particular element here means the chemical oh. reactions chemical reactions and the compounds in the material and the environment here is the chemical reactions remember it's okay you can see here chemical reactions okay Next, Corpus, composition, composition, composition. Talking about composition, all material com are composed of the elements and the compounds in particular properties. And remember, this is okay. Remember here, you can read it. here is the chemical. Uh, Okay, you can read it. Review your before knowledge. We don't have a lot here. Next is very important here. We often use that. Here is a corrosion corrosion resistance. Corrosion resistance. Resistance. Ah, uh, corrosion resistance. Corrosion resistance. Corrosion. Ah, uh, corrosion resistance. Remember, this is very important. Concept corrosion this thing here. Corrosion is caused by the material chemical reactions with the, its environment. Okay, remember corrosion is caused by the material.
chemical reactions with the is environmental. That means corrosion is the chemical reactions. Okay? Corrosion resists the its ability of a material to resist the combining with the and and able and able elements and the chemical compounds. Okay. Very important here. Some material corroder more than other corroder. We chemical, you should remember the chemical. Okay, chemical. Ah, chemical. Ah, oh, chemical. Ferrous material such as iron, ox, oxidize. That is a combined oxidize. with the oxidized by the oxygen. To, oxygen. To form the iron oxide rust. Why give it rust? Here I I expose expose the, the oxygen. Here is the rust. Okay, for instance. For example, aluminum is better. You mean oxygen pro, pro, protecting the aluminum. Aluminum oxidized very rapidly because aluminum has a his a it's a advantage. Aluminum oxidized very rapidly because the aluminum oxidized. That means the oxygen oxygen around the aluminum can protect the aluminum. This form we film this form this film from where from oxygen over the material that effective products the aluminum from further corrosion from corrosion okay it's a different okay oh, okay remember remember this every time you should be write down write down here caution if you don't write down you can see my uh, video again and again caution we when caution we select and store in the material take possible corrosion into the amount very important okay when select the storing material that means that don't mix a different material, material. storing together why 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 we cannot storing every different material together chemical reaction chemical reaction you can do that. so very important chemical re chemical reaction take a possible corrosions into the amount corrosion the corrosion here okay if you for example we are talking about liter okay here if you if you put the alumni if you put the alumni and the leader together okay can here leader leader can get into the alumni why? Because aluminum not active, not reactive as a leader. Uh, that means the leader is a very active, very active elements. He can get into the aluminum. Here is a caution. Remember, ah, caution. I explain something to you. Caution. We select the storing material. Take a possible creations into the amount. Almost every time, if you write 135 uh, questions about your certificate examination, have these questions. Okay? Okay. Next, uh, here is what uh, we call a lecture. You, you can, you, I think you can, you, can, you already learned it from your the senior, 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 uh, senior high school, high middle school. Electric, electric, ch chemical, electrochemical reactions. Okay, we often call the electrolysis. Oh, yeah. Okay, remember, very important. When two different metals are in contact with one another and the water in present, an electric current is a product. Okay, product. Ah, uh, two thousand. The the electron flow has a chemical effect. 
corroding the material, corroding the material. It may even this thing disintegrate one of them, combine combine them after chemical reaction, can combine them together. This electrochemical reaction we also call the electro electrolysis. 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 Must remember uh, elect electrochemical reactions. We call another name electrolysis. Electrolysis. Remember, I give you my car. Very important here. Why I why I let you remember and never forget, never ever forget. You see mission here. Okay? It's a garment manual. Manual rights need to be aware of the reaction among the metals or metal alloys. Very important, mark here. You can write down here. Meal rights need to be aware of the reaction among metals or metal alloys. Okay? Metal alloys. <clears throat> okay. In the following, list each metal is uh, corroded by the older the metals, list after eight. Okay, these questions are almost every time. If you write examinations, if you got a certificate examination, have these questions. This list is sometimes referred to as uh, referred to as uh, here, Galvini, Galvini series. Gervini series, okay? Gervini series. Remember this, this, this term is chemical term, okay? This chemical Gervini, Gervini, Gervini series, Gervini series. Okay, here, here we have alumni mechanism, chromism, iron or steel, cast iron. Okay, here blah 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 blah, blah. nickel. Tin, leather, brass, copper, bronze, copper naked, steel, a platinum, platinum, good. That means here from up, from up to down. Here element or material. Here is a element or material. Here is an element. Yeah, element. All, all material means uh, okay. Up, up means uh, up means uh, reactive. Is not is less than down, than down, than down. Yeah, from here. Yeah. That means uh, good, good. Uh, Seal compare good seal. Good is a element. Good element. Okay, it's much. It's much. It's much reactive. It's much negative than the seal. So silver. Silver. That means good can easy to deplete. Can easy silver. to. Displaced can easily to displace the cell. Okay, you know me. For here, we also use the cell for good, good, good. Gold. Aluminum. Compare good and aluminum. Aluminum. Okay. Aluminum. For it is aluminum. Aluminum is less reactive. Aluminum is less reactive than good. That good, that good, okay. Let me hear. That means uh, good can easily displaced, displaced, displaced aluminum. Okay, okay. Talking, talking about the uh, here to sum up. Here is the reactive much. Here is the less re reactive less aluminum. And uh, this reactive is the chemical reactive. Chemical reactive. So down, down, 
Elena can displace the can displace the good can displace the up every elements every elements why because good up every elements is less reactive and less reactive the good okay understand okay so why we often use a lot of time talking about this please read this video again and again right down here caution every time if you write 135 mil right examination questions always have these questions caution when working on metallic material or with a metal tool take care to avoid corrosions store metal tool and the material properly be sure that highly hi, be sure that highly interactive this interactive is chemical reactive chemical reactive. this interactive means chemical reactive metals are not stored together that means you don't you don't store the uh, the, the, the copper piper you don't copper. swap copper piper and the, the aluminum piper together why copper piper will be displaced the aluminum piper aluminum destroy it okay okay again again caution when working at metallic material or with the metal tool take care to avoid corrosion Store metal tools and the material properties. Be sure that highly interactive metals are not stored together. Okay. <clears throat> okay. To sum up, this today, to sum up today, we're talking about the first uh, chapter, chapter one, trade science. We're talking about the we're talking about the autumn. We're talking about the. We're talking about the. We're talking about the this. Chapter one, uh, treat the science. Treat the science. We talk about the autumn and the, uh, many many cools. Uh, we talking about the, uh, many cools. Uh, talking about atom and algorithm. We talk about compounds and the mixture. We talk about the property of a liquid, uh, property of a solid, property of a solid, okay, property of solid, uh, property of solid. And next lecture, we should be talking about the property of a liquid, property of liquid, okay, property of liquid. But uh, uh, in my opinion, I think. Uh, everybody should be knows caution or uh, caution means uh, to sum, sometimes uh, to sum up very important uh, points or we can look at the key points and the difficult points for example here we're talking about this is a difficult point you should review your senior high middle school's knowledge or uh, chemical knowledge uh, chemical knowledge, physical knowledge, should remember because mere right should be must be no, uh, must be no. Because here I remember uh, mere rights need to be aware of the reactions among material or metal alloy must be no. Okay, must be no. <clears throat> Very important. Uh, for example, my, uh, my student, uh, but right now in the uh, Canada. As a mere right, she told, he told me, very important. There are different two, different two. You can put different, please. Okay, different material. Never ever put together. Okay, if you put together, you will be fired in Air Canada as a maintenance mere right in Air Canada. Okay, oh, okay. That's all for today. Uh, Please, uh, if you if you think better, give me a, 
Okay, uh, give me a, <laughs> a like. Give me a, okay, yeah. Uh, I will be a. Uh, I will I will be the piece here piece here lecture to my the blog, my blog. You can go to my the YouTube, can get the my blog. You can read something. Uh, read something there. Okay, okay. Uh, see you next time.